Welcome back to our channel, Mathmasters UAE. Hello everyone, Mathmasters UAE in the channel. Like Swagatham. So, in the class, we have expected questions part 1. In this class, we have part 2. We have textbook problems. We have to do questions. We have to do previous year question papers. At least 5 years question papers. We have to do problems. We have to be confident. We have to attend the questions board exam. So, that practicing makes you perfect. So, if you have any doubt in new questions, you can put it in the comment box. Definitely, I will reply for it. Or I will do it in the next video. So, let us start our video with question number 5. That is, if zeros of the polynomial x square plus px plus q are double in value to the zeros of 2x square minus 5x plus 3, find the value of p and q. Here, we have two polynomials. What are the two polynomials? First one is x square plus px plus q and other one is 2x square minus 5x plus 3. This is the polynomial. What is the polynomial? The zeros of the polynomial x square plus px plus q are double in value of the zeros 2x square minus 5x plus 3. So, this is the zeros. This is double i. So, let the zeros of 2x square minus 5x plus 3 be alpha and beta. The zeros be alpha and beta. How many are you? What is the sum of the zeros? Alpha plus beta and the equal to alpha plus beta is equal to minus b by a is the relation. So here b is minus 5. How many standard form in that I know? ax square plus bx plus c are the quadratic polynomial in the standard form. So from this b is equal to minus 5. And A is equal to 2. So, alpha plus beta is equal to 5 by 2. This is 1, equation 1. And alpha into beta and then equal to C by A. Here C is 3. And A is 2. 3 by 2. This is our equation number 2. But alpha and beta are zeros of the polynomial angle. This po in this polynomial, zeros will be 2 alpha and 2 beta. Now what is the sum? It is given. That is, it is twice the double the zeros are already thunkered. So we can write it as 2 alpha and 2 beta. And the sum of the zeros will be 2 alpha plus 2 beta is equal to minus p. B is the value of the p. And a is 1. So you can take 2 outside the bracket. 2 is common. 2 into alpha plus beta is equal to minus p. What is alpha plus beta? What is alpha plus beta? From equation 1, alpha plus beta is equal to 5 by 2. That is minus p is equal to 2 into 5 by 2. 2, 2 cancel. We will get it as p is equal to this minus will go other side. p is equal to minus 5. Next up. Let us find out the product of the zeros. Product is equal to 2 alpha into 2 beta is equal to C by A. C is Q and A is 1. 2 into 2 is 4. 4 alpha beta is equal to Q. And what is alpha into beta? From equation 2 alpha into beta is equal to 3 by 2. You can cancel this 2 and 4. 3 into 2 is 6. So Q is equal to 6. Next question is find the zeros of the quadratic polynomial 7y square minus 11 by 3y minus 2 by 3 and verify the relation between the zeros and coefficient. So here polynomial is the tender. Now the zeros of the polynomial first find here. After that we have to verify the relation between the zeros and the coefficient. So here p of y is equal to 7y square minus 11 by 3y minus 2 by 3. Zeros are going to it equate to 0. Here polynomial is of the form of fractions. Okay, fractions are it. Let us take the LCM. 3 is the LCM. So, 7 into 3, 21. 
y square minus 11 y minus 2 equal to 0. This 3 will go other side and become 0. So you can write as 21 y square minus 11 y minus 2 equal to 0. It is a polynomial. Now next number is 0 so find here. We have to split the middle term. Here product is equal to and that product multiply first term and the last term. Product is equal to 21 y square into minus 2. That is equal to 42. Minus 42 y square on product. Sum is equal to minus 11 y. Minus 11 y on sum. First factorize this 42. 42 in the factors are It goes in 2, 2 times, 2, 1 time. Then it's an odd number. Take next factor 3. 3 is 21 is 7 times. 7. So then take two numbers. Let us take 6 and 7. Both sum and product is negative. Sum and product is negative. Why do you Greater number should be negative. In case we are taking 6 and 7, minus 7. Plus 6 here to come to. Karna, both negative y and product positive. Out. So greater number should be negative. But here while adding these two numbers we will get only minus 1. So we can't take this number. So have to take 7 into 2 14. 14 and 3. That is minus 14 plus 3. Greater number should be negative. Then only both the product and the sum will be negative. So, minus 14 plus 3 is equal to minus 11. That is our sum. So, we can take minus 14 and plus 3. So, split the middle term. 21y square minus 14y plus 3y minus 2 is equal to 0. Take the common factor outside. 21 and 14, 7 is a common. y is common here. So, 7y, 3y times. 7 into 3, 21y into y, y square. Minus 7y into 2. Then, here, take 1 uh, outside the bracket. Then, you will get 3y minus 2 equal to 0. 3y minus 2 is common. So, you can write as 7y plus 1 into 3y minus 2 equal to 0. Equate each bracket to 0. That is 7y plus 1 equal to 0. 1 will go other side as minus 1. And y is equal to minus 1 by 7. Then 3y minus 2 equal to 0. That is 3y equal to plus 2. y is equal to 2 by 3. So these are the zeros of our polynomial P of y. So let alpha is equal to minus 1 by 7 and beta is equal to 2 by 3. So let us find out the relations. First relation is alpha plus beta is equal to minus b by a. Here alpha is alpha plus beta is equal to minus 1 by 7 plus 2 by 3. Here denominator is different. So Find out the LCM. LCM is 21. Then cross multiply it. You will get it as minus 3 plus 14. That is equal to 11 by 21. Then minus B by A is equal to minus of minus 11 by 3. B is minus 11 by 3 by A is 7. Minus of minus will come as plus 11 by 3 into 1 by 7 that is equal to 11 by 21 so our lh is equal to rhs first relation is verified second relation is alpha into beta is equal to c by a that is a alpha into beta is equal to minus 1 by 7 into 2 by 3 equal to minus 2 by 7 into 3, 21. Minus 2 by 21. C by A is equal to C is minus 2 by 3 by 7. Get it as minus 2 by 3 into 1 by 7. Minus 2 into 1 minus 2 
3 into 7, it is 21. Here also, our LH is equal to RHS. So, we verified the relations. Next, seventh question. Find the value of K such that the polynomial x square minus k plus 6 into x plus 2 into 2k minus 1 has the sum of its zeros equal to half of their product. But the sum is equal to half of their product. That is our alpha plus beta is equal to alpha into beta by 2. It is given. Okay, what is our polynomial? P of x is equal to x square minus k plus 6 into x plus 2 into 2k minus 1. So here our b is equal to minus k plus 6. c is equal to 2 into 2k minus 1. And a is 1. So let us find out what is the sum and the product. According to the relation, what is alpha plus beta? Alpha plus beta is equal to minus b by a. And alpha into beta is c by a into 2. So this a and a will cancel. We will get it as minus b. This 2 will go other side. Minus 2b is equal to c. After that, substitute the value of b and c into this. Minus 2 into b in the Put the bracket. Plus 6. Close the bracket and C is 2 into 2K minus 1. So here minus and minus will come as positive. This 2 and this 2 will cancel. Then open the bracket. K plus 6 is equal to 2K minus 1. Take K to other side and plus 1 to this side. So we will get it as 6 plus 1. Minus 1 will come as plus 1. K will go as minus K. That is 2K minus K. 6 plus 1 is 7 and k is equal to 7. So, we got the value of k. Next, 8th question. If 1 0 is of the polynomial 3x square minus 8x plus 2k plus 1 is 7 times the other, find the zeros and value of k. But a polynomial is not the same. P of x is equal to 3x square minus 8x plus 2k plus 1 is the polynomial. We have to find out the zeros as well as the value of k. Given if alpha and beta are the zeros of the polynomial, one zero is alpha and other is 7 alpha. So 7 alpha. So sum of the zeros will be alpha plus 7 alpha is equal to minus b by a. That is 8 alpha is equal to what is b? B is minus 8. So minus of minus 8 and A is 3. So alpha is equal to 8 by 3, 8 alpha. Here 8 and 8 will cancel. So alpha is equal to 1 by 3. It is alpha. Apa beta and then Then beta is equal to Beta is equal to 7 alpha. That is equal to 7 into 1 by 3. 7 by 3. This is our beta. After this, we have to find out the value of k. That is product in the product of zeros of the polynomial is alpha into 7 alpha is equal to c by a. That is equal to 7 alpha square is equal to c by a. Give it a alpha the value substitute a that is 1 by 3 7 into 1 by 3 the whole square is equal to what is c c is 2k plus 1 2k plus 1 by and a is 3 square this one we get the 7 into 3 square is 9 equal to 2k plus 1 by 3. This 9 and 3 we can cancel 3 times. 3 into 3, 9. 7 into 1 by 3 is 7 by 3 equal to 2k plus 1. Cross multiply 3 into 2k plus 1. Then open the bracket. 
7 is equal to 6k plus 3 into 1 is 3. Then this 3 will go other side as minus 3 is equal to 6k. 7 minus 3 is 4 is equal to 6k. And our k is equal to 4 by 6. We can divide both the numerator and denominator by 2. We will get it as 2 by 3. So our k is equal to 2 by 3. And alpha is equal to 1 by 3. And beta is equal to 7 by 3. So we have find out the value of zeros of the polynomial and k. Next question. Find the sum and product of zeros of the polynomial p of x is equal to x square minus 5x plus 6. Sum and the sum of the zeros is equal to minus b by a. That is here minus b and the b is equal to 5. So minus 5 by a is 1. So sum is equal to minus 5 and product is equal to c by a. C is equal to plus 6 and A is 1. So, product is plus 6. So, our answer is minus 5 plus 6. Option B is correct. Next question. Zeros of the quadratic polynomial x square plus 99x plus 127 are both positive, both negative, positive and negative or both equal. So, we have options on the head. So, our polynomial is x square plus 99x plus 127. Here, we sum and product of the zeros. What is the sum? Sum is equal to minus b by a. That is equal to minus 99. Minus 99 by a is 1. Here, we alpha plus beta is, here alpha plus beta is negative. That is sum is negative. And what is our product? Product is equal to C by A. Here C is 127 and A is 1. So alpha into beta is positive. So our sum is negative and product is positive. This can happen only when both the zeros are negative. If the end of negative we can add a negative and multiply a positive. So our option is both negative that is B. When sum is negative and product is positive, both zeros should be negative. Both zeros should be zero should be negative. Then only we we'll get the product positive and sum negative. By this, we have completed some of the expected questions from the chapter polynomial. If you have any doubts in this you can ask in the comment box. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe my video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.